Alfa Romeo Giulia Review. Our rating. 4 Star. The Alfa Romeo Giulia is an impressive rear-drive saloon that challenges the compact executive best. 4. Sharp handling, stunning looks, great engine range. Against. Firm ride, no manual for UK, fiddly infotainment system. The Alfa Romeo Giulia could be a superb choice for compact executive saloon car buyers, as it offers a brilliant mix of gorgeous looks, fun handling and impressive running costs. Like the Jaguar XE, it's a welcome alternative to the German manufacturers and has a unique character. The engine range is excellent, and while it's a shame we don't get a manual option here in the UK, the automatic gearbox is very good. Fans of Mercedes and Audi interiors might find the Julia's interior isn't quite up to the same standards, but there's so much to like about Alpha's compact executive saloon that it could still win them over. Our choice. Alfa Romeo Giulia 2.2 JTD M2 Super The Alfa Romeo Giulia is an important car for the Italian maker, because aside from the 4C sports car, it's the first all-new Alfa since the Giulietta in 2010. The Giulia's platform is also used on the new Stelvio SUV, and it will also form the basis for a new large Alfa executive saloon. The Giulia name can trace its roots back to the 1962 Type 105 original, which had either a 1.3-liter or 1.6-liter engine and rear-wheel drive. This car was constantly updated and remained in production for 16 years. It was replaced in 1977 by the Giulietta, which itself was heavily revised and rebadged as the Alpha 75 in 1985. Seven years later, the 75 gave way to the front-driven, Fiat Tipo-based 155, which was followed by the handsome 156 in 1997 and the 159 in 2005. The major difference between the 159 and the Giola is that the latest saloon returns to a rear-wheel drive layout. As it stands, the Giulia is a rival for compact executive saloons such as the BMW 3 Series, Audi A4, Jaguar XE, and Mercedes C-Class, while alternative options to the Alpha include the Lexuses, Infiniti Q50 and higher spec versions of the Volkswagen Passat. While the 159 came as an estate there's only a saloon body steel for the Giulia, and with the Stelvio SUV due in showrooms, it's likely to remain as a saloon for the foreseeable future. Trims for the Giulia start with the unnamed base model, then go through Super, Technica, and Speciali, while the range is topped by the BMW M3 rivaling Quadrifoglio Super Saloon. The engine range gets progressively more powerful as you go through the range. The base model comes with a 200 HP 2.0 liter turbo petrol, while the Super gets this engine or Alpha's 2.2 JTD M2 diesel with 150 HP or 180 HP. The Technica model has just the two diesels, while the Speciali only comes with the more powerful diesel. The Quadrifoglio features a 510BHP 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 that has been developed by Ferrari engineers. If you're buying a Giulia in the UK, the only gearbox option is an 8 speed auto. European models can be had with a manual, but the automatic is good enough that UK buyers won't miss out. With large metal steering wheel paddles and a smooth shift, the auto would be the one we'd recommend anyway. Alpha's engineers have designed to make the Giulia entertaining to drive, so it features lightweight construction and a 50 colon 50 weight distribution for good balance. The long wheelbase also means that interior space is good for passengers and luggage alike. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4.5 Star Great range of engines offers both performance and economy. Alfa Romeo has a long history of producing fast and fun saloon cars, but in the last two decades the brand's compact executive models have been overtaken by rivals from Germany and Britain. However, the switch to rear-wheel drive has helped the Julia claw back lost ground. The first thing you'll notice after setting off in the Alpha is the quick steering, 
which feels great through a series of turns. It's accurate too, so you can have confidence placing the car where you want it. A 50 colon 50 weight distribution and rear wheel drive layout means the Julia feels well balanced and fun when pushing harder into bends, while the suspension provides an impressive blend of stiffness in hard cornering and compliance on bumpier roads, though we'll have to test it in the UK to be sure. The Julia steering is even quicker than the XC's, giving the car a feeling of real agility. There's also plenty of grip, plus the rear-wheel drive layout delivers balanced handling. The brand's DNA. Drive modes allow you to alter the steering weight and throttle response, but the setup feels most natural in its normal setting. It's not as involving as the BMW, but the Julia serves up enough engagement to keep keen drivers interested. It delivers decent refinement, too. There's very little wind and road noise, but the firm ride is a letdown as the car fidgets and thuds on all but the smoothest surfaces. The automatic gearbox is standard on all UK cars, and is an excellent unit, providing smooth and fast shifts. The large paddles behind the wheel feel satisfying to use, which helps bring back some of the driver engagement lost with the lack of a manual model. Alfa Romeo's DNA selector means you can choose from three driving modes in the standard cars, advanced efficiency, natural and dynamic, with a race mode for the quadrifoglio. The car feels at its best in the natural and dynamic modes, with the echo setting taking a bit too much away from the responses. The hot Giulia quadrifoglio is superb to drive, with incredible performance, balanced handling and a great soundtrack. It's a genuine rival for the BMW M3 and Mercedes AMG C63. All models have lane departure warning as standard, while adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, a rear parking camera and autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian protection are all optional. Engines the Julia's engine range seems fairly limited compared to the huge choice on offer in the BMW 3 Series range, but this helps keep things easy to understand and you can't go far wrong with any of the power units on offer. The biggest seller will be the 2.2-liter diesel, which comes with two power outputs, 178 bhp and 148 bhp. The Torquey 2.2-liter turbo diesel delivers the gutsy performance you'd expect from the Italian mark. It has a different feel to the diesels on offer in the car's German rivals, with a much more linear power delivery. It also feels keener to rev, so it's more fun to drive quickly. The downside is that there's not the same muscular feeling that comes from the huge lump of torque at the bottom of the rev range so often found in other modern diesel execs. At least the engine is well suited to the sporty Italian persona of the Giulia. At the test track, the Alpha matched the BMW 320D from 0 to 60 miles per hour with a time of 7.1 seconds. Once it was rolling, the Julia was able to use its 450nm of torque and the closely stacked ratios of its standard 8-speed auto transmission to good effect. The lower-powered diesel manages the sprint in 8.2 seconds. There's also a 2.0-liter four-cylinder petrol model, and despite not matching the diesel for economy it could be a solid choice. It's quick, going from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.6 .6 seconds, and sounds good right through the rev range. It's more economical than you might think too, though not as good as the diesel. Finally there's also the hugely powerful Quadrifoglio model, which gets a 2.9 liter V6 with 503 bhp and 600 nm of torque. It's turbocharged, but the Ferrari influence on the unit is clear once you try it. This engine loves to be revved and feels more like a naturally aspirated unit than the rival BMW M3 S turbo 6 cylinder. With a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 3.9 seconds and a top speed of 192 miles per hour, the Quadrifoglio has an incredible amount of performance on offer. The V6 sounds great though the howl always seems cut short when you hit the limiter, it sounds like it could rev even higher than it does. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 
4.2 star. Efficient diesel engines will be the biggest sellers in the UK. Every diesel Alfa Romeo Giulia manages the same economy figures, so the only thing holding you back from choosing the more powerful 178 bhp option is the list price. Both versions of the engine return 67.3 mpg and emit 109g slash km of CO2, which beats the equivalent BMW 320DS figures of 64.2 mpg and 116g slash km. However, when we tested the more powerful diesel, we recorded a disappointing 35.1 mpg at the pumps. The petrol Julius figures of 47.9 mpg and 138 g km of CO2 aren't as impressive, but for a petrol that's pretty good going, and identical to the BMW 320i. We'd recommend the petrol for those doing shorter trips, too. The Giulia Quadrifoglio isn't exactly economical, returning 34.4 mpg and emitting 189g slash km, but those figures are actually impressive for a car with over 500 bhp. Alpha hasn't released servicing costs yet, but expected to offer a prepaid maintenance pack. Insurance Groups No data on the Alfa Romeo Giulia's insurance groups exists yet, but expected to match the equivalent BMW 3 Series or Audi A4, which sit around Group 30 depending on the exact model. The Quadrigoflio version is likely to be in Group 50. Depreciation The Giulia is predicted to retain more of its new price than a BMW 3 Series after three years, with our experts calculating residuals of around 44.3% for the more powerful 2.2 JTDM Speciali. Interior, Design, and Technology 4.5 Star The Giulia is among the best-looking cars in its class, but the infotainment system is lacking. Recently Alfa Romeo has rediscovered its knack of delivering head-turning design and the latest Giulia is no exception. With perfect proportions and neat detailing, the newcomer attracts attention on the road. Standard models get 16-inch alloys, while our speciali trim test car is identified by its larger 18-inch rims, twin exit exhausts, and xenon lights. Next to the plain BMW 3 Series and Audi A4 it's a clear winner, and even the smart-looking new Mercedes C-Class has to give over the honors to the Alpha. Even low-spec cars look fantastic, and the color palette of gray, white, blue and of the cars we tried all looked the part. Big strides have been made inside, where good quality materials and slick design give the Alpha premium appeal. With a stylish and sporty aesthetic, especially thanks to some beautiful dials and a great steering wheel. The rest of the cabin doesn't feel quite as upmarket as the C-Class or A4, but there's no doubting that there's a clean elegance to it. The materials just aren't as high in quality as those in the Julius top rivals. SAT NAV, Stereo and Infotainment One area where Alpha really trails its rivals in this test is infotainment. Every version of the Julia gets the basics, which means Bluetooth and USB connectivity, a DAB radio and handy rotary controller for the center console mounted screen 6.5 inches on the standard car and 7 inches on other specs. Super and Speciali models also have SAT NAV. The graphics are clear, but the menu system isn't quite as logical as the BMW similar setup. Buyers wanting extra can upgrade to the Connect 3D NAV system for around £1,050. It adds a larger 8.8-inch screen and TomTom NAV software, and certainly looks the part. Also included is a large 7-inch TFT screen between the dials, which gives access to a wide variety of trip computer, audio and NAV info. However, the upgraded kit lacks the online connectivity and customization of set UPS from Jaguar and BMW. Music lovers can specify the Harman slash card and stereo upgrade for a round, which brings a total of 11 speakers. The SAT NAV itself is easy to use, as it's a TomTom derived interface. That means it benefits from map updates via USB, plus easy to read directions on the display.
practicality, comfort, and boot space. 4.1 Star The Julia has good interior space and a competitively sized boot. There's only one body steel for now, the saloon, but Alpha hasn't ruled out an estate in the future, which would clearly be the more practical choice. The driving position is good, with a comfortable and sporty seat arrangement in the front. We'll have to wait and see how the right-hand drive version feels, but the pedals and wheel felt well positioned in the first batch of Italian test cars. Leg room, headroom and passenger space. The Alfa Giulia actually has one of the longer wheelbases in its class, which means there's a good amount of rear legroom. There's plenty of space up front, but the passengers in the back won't have too much to complain about, although the large transmission tunnel means the middle seat can feel cramped. The Alpha is shorter than the Jaguar, but decent packaging means that it offers a fraction more space. For instance, occupants in the rear get more head and legroom although there's not much to separate the Julia and the 320D in this regard. Boot It's clear Alpha designers benchmarked the 3 series when developing the Julia, as it shares the same 480 liter boot capacity. However, the opening is smaller and there's a high lip. The Julia also has to give best to the 320D when it comes to storage. There's a decent sized cubby between the front seats and a large glove box, but door bins are smaller and there's nowhere to store a smartphone. Reliability and safety. 3.5 star. All new platform means we can't be sure of the car's reliability yet. All models have lane departure warning as standard, while adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, a rear parking camera and autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian protection are all optional. That means the Alpha is likely to score well for safety when Euro NCAP comes to crash test the car. Unfortunately there's not a huge amount to go on just yet. It's the same story with the reliability, as the Julia sits on an all-new platform for the brand, set to underpin a huge range of new models over the next few years, there's nothing to base assumptions about reliability on yet, aside from perceived build quality, which seems solid on first impressions. Alfa Romeo might have a reputation for breaking down all the time, but that's largely unfounded, with Alfa's modern cars being about as reliable as their main rivals. The ownership experience might be a different story, though, with Alfa Romeo as a brand falling behind its rivals in the 2016 Auto Express Driver Power Customer Satisfaction Survey.